So I got myself an egg. A really, really high level apex blood crystal wyvern egg. Daisy the Kano's reverted to a ugly colored state. Looks like she just hopped out of the campfire. And we got this big new addition to the squad. I'm pretty sure I could lay down in his mouth. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, much better. <laughs> First try. Anyways, today we're going to be hatching this thing up and hopefully something more exciting than me pops out of it. <laughs> That's like the most swole egg the world has ever seen. But yeah, we're going to hatch up this egg today. We're going to get ourselves an apex wyvern out of it. And I'm super excited to see how strong it is, how it measures up against some of our other apexes and what it allows for us to do. Because this will be our first flyer that can actually do something other than fly around like these guys who are responsible for like seven or eight of our total deaths this series yeah we i don't have i don't have a good track record of keeping flyers alive but hopefully our wyvern can change that the thing is we got a few things we need to get in order before we're well ready to hatch the thing up because we're gonna need some air conditioners i went ahead and crafted us a hatchery recently too we've got a lot of eggs ready to go here which is amazing because we can actually sacrifice a lot of those eggs for kibble not kibble candy what are these things called again treats these guys right here in fact we can just craft up a two wait a minute what are you talking about what do you what's no look at all these fertilized apex doodle eggs i've got here do these not count or something all right that's much better all right let's craft up those extra 10 but obviously the hatchery here only hatches dinosaurs up to about 99 percent of the way there that last one percent we're gonna take care of ourselves also you know what else i gotta take care of this guy creeping around behind my base what is he even doing i'm pretty sure this is an apex by the way it is an apex dialogue and for whatever reason i was gonna say at what stage is it actually gonna engage me in battle because they don't normally hang around that long waiting to like make their strike anyways um yeah we got some we got some general loot out of that nothing too exciting do you want to like join the team well i i i, I welcome welcome to the squad i guess i think we'll call you fodder Welcome to the fodder squad. Just on a side note, I absolutely love the rainbow nature of this team. I honestly want them to live. I don't want them to die. And hey, look, now that we've got ourselves a proficient fly... Well, we're about to get ourselves a proficient flyer. Don't want to, like, count my chickens before they hatch or anything. Maybe these guys can actually live the rest of their days out happily here. Or well, probably not, though. Anyways, the point that I'm getting to is we need to hatch this egg up. And to do that, we need an air conditioner. The only problem is I haven't really advanced into the old industrial supply stuff. So... I think we're going to get ourselves a fabricator. I just don't know if I have everything we need to make that happen. I don't even have the ability to spell the word correctly, but let's have a look. We do. Oh, that's good. I thought it'd be a little bit more of a battle to get this thing crafted up. I'm finally going to get us an S plus crafting station as well, just to help us craft stuff that little bit more speedy like. And I'm going to use it to get us a whole stack of foundations. The question is, where are we going to place these things? And we can't forget about some storage boxes too, because this one here is now busted. So we'll just go ahead and smash it. Bada beam, bada boom. Not too bad, if I may say so myself. The only thing I've forgotten about is I need myself a generator. And that I don't know where to put. In fact, I don't even know if I've got what it takes to get one of these. Uh, we're missing... Oh, of course, we need some electronics. I don't know if we've got silica pearls. I do maybe have silica... I don't have fuel. Wow, only just enough resources to get to. Uh, we, I guess, only have enough oil for one. That's good. That's fine. That's all I needed. Fantastic. So we'll drop one in here. We'll... Why did I move? Wait, what? Why is... Okay, hold on a second. Let me grab these items. They're meant to belong in here. Now, that's much better. Okay, we're going to throw a gasoline in. We're going to fire this baby up. Let's get 10 of these bad boys crafted up. We'll get us a generator. We'll get us a vertical cable. And we'll get us three more electronics and an outlet box. And this is going to live down here. Just slightly tucked away so I don't have to look at it as much. It's a bit of an eyesore. And we'll turn that baby on. And now we have, well, power. So that's pretty cool. Does that by any chance happen to power up this guy? I crafted up this item collector 
I think it was after last video, but unfortunately he's unpowered and he requires propellants. Unfortunately, propellant we do not have. And to get it, we're going to need a few things that we, well, don't really have good access to. So you'll just have to wait, buddy. Oh dear. <laughs> I just picked up our hatchery and I realized it's going to drop every single egg that was inside of it. What's so bad about that? You might be wondering. Well, you can't put an egg. Why am I so short? You can't put these eggs back in a hatchery because they're like ready to hatch. So I do it. No, actually, no, they don't need to be hatched because I can just turn these into treats. We can just turn them all. Can I turn the red ones into treats too? I would know if I wasn't so darn heavy. All right, please don't hatch. Please don't hatch. I don't want you to hatch. Please don't hatch. Pick his all back up. We'll drop his all in here. And I think I'm just going to cross my fingers and hope we can get some treats out of this. Five of them. I don't know. Is it? Oh, wait, hold on. Huh? Hold on. I've still got these. Okay, hold on. That doesn't really give me an answer. Yeah, you can't use that. You can't use these. Man, I had comments on my video a couple days ago telling me that I'd accidentally sacrificed one of these red ones for one of these treats. Well, I don't actually know. Either ways, I'll just chuck these all in here for now. I'll drop my hatchery here and we have one egg left to hatch. The only one of the bunch that really matters. And it's ridiculously heavy. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my. That is a... One second. I need myself a piece of bry meat. A single piece should do. You are just what my squad needs. Oh my gosh, you're beautiful. And we shall name you Fodder. <laughs> the joke's getting old, Biola. The joke's getting old, buddy. Anyways, let's go and drop this egg and actually see if we do need the air conditioner because there is a chance we may not. We may have optimal temp. We do not have optimal temperatures. It is way too cold. How about if I drop it directly on a campfire? Okay, you can't drop it directly, but you can drop it next. No, it's still too cold. Okay, fair enough. I guess we're getting ourselves an air conditioner. The question is, can I get myself an air conditioner? Because we might not have the resource. Electronics. Okie dokie. Can I get 15 electronics? I cannot get 15 electronics, but we can get pretty darn close. But we can get about halfway there, to be honest, which is we need another 45. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a problem. <gasps> no, it's not because you can take me underwater. If I can get you a saddle, let me see what I can do. Let me go and put my egg down somewhere because, well, it's, it's heavy. Can I craft up a Sarko saddle? Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, it's all just, it's, it's all just working, man. The stars are aligning. I didn't, I didn't anticipate for this. This doesn't normally happen, man. Everything is just going according to plan so far. Ex except for me sitting on this, this, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, do I need to say it? I'm floating. Anyways, let's have a look at how strong this guy is. 850 or 60 damage. Not bad. Moves around with some gusto, too. Ooh, it's like he's in a hurry or something. The question is... Oh, I mean, you can beat up a hyena, Don, so you're, you're good in my books. You've also got 20 levels up your sleeve. If I chuck some levels into speed and the rest into melee damage, show me how deep you can take me underwater, basically. And if we have any silica pearls nearby, because... That's that's what I need. No, that's not silica pearls. Also, what are these? I've never seen these fish before in my life. Either ways, I see you coming for me. All right, so I need to know if I dismount you underwater, you're not going to abandon me. That That's promising. I like that a lot. The question is, how far are we going to have to travel for silica pearls? I, oh, right here, right here. And I have enough oxygen to actually collect these. Okay. I don't even think I need many of them. So let's just hopefully, well, actually, I, oh my gosh. I actually don't know if I can do this in one trip, but we are about to start drowning. 60, I think that's going to be enough. Let's go. Let's go, old buddy. Let's go, buddy, old pal. I'm on the verge of drowning. Oh, we're going to make it. Oh, I got zapped by a jellyfish, but we've made it to the surface. So all good. <laughs> that was terrible timing, man. I hate jellyfish so much. Can you... I'm going to die now. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Yep, now I'm going to die. Okay, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, jellyfish, my favorite. 
Oh, I adore them so much. Right alongside an electric eel, micro raptors, pegamastax, itchy thornus, you know, all the, all, all the, everybody's favorite dinosaurs. All right, over here, buddy. Thanks for taking care of them. Thanks for avenging my death, friend. You're a true buddy old pal, aren't you? All right, if I actually end up dying to another. Oh, my guy took a little bit of a hit from that megalodon, by the way. But, um, but if I die to another jellyfish today, I'll probably cry. All right, that's what you get. Let's quickly dip on down and grab our stuff and get our hineys out of here. Probably grab some oil while I'm down here, but I think we'll be okay. And we got 15 levels to play with, so a little bit more speed and a little bit more damage. And a little bit of regret for not putting any levels into health because... We'll pay for it. We will eventually pay for it. I know it. All right, well, now that we've got the goods, let's do this thing. Or at least let's see if... I collected enough of the goods. There's your silly capels. I need nine more of them. And we've got it. Okie dokie. One air conditioner coming right up. And I shall place you right next to my hatchery. The question now becomes, is one air conditioner enough? Because some of these eggs require multiple air conditioners. I don't know if the wyvern is one of them. But I guess we should like find out, right? Let's have a look. Oh, it is one of them. <laughs> That's not what I was hoping for. That's really not what I was hoping for. Um, okay. Okay, I think I actually have the perfect amount of silica pearls to get another 15 electronics. Uh, I literally have the perfect amount. Oh my gosh. Okay, then. Do we have the perfect amount of everything else? I need polymer and crystal. No. Well, the polymer's fine, I'm pretty sure. Check. The crystal, though, I have to go and collect that. All right, big fod, let's go, friend. I would head down that way because I know there's crystal down there, but th there's also a, a, a giant deadly death dodo, little zomdodo prime down there, and I, I don't really feel like going anywhere near that, so I'm going to look for crystal over this side of the mountain. Ooh, little rainbow ankies below us, though. We got some metal up here, too. Griffins, Argentavises. But no crystal yet. All right. Well, we ended up going straight back to our trusty old crystal spot. I don't even know how much of this we need, but um, there should be plenty here. And we're back. The moment of truth. Oh my gosh, you are laying so many eggs. One air conditioner, please. Thank you very much. I'll just drop it there. Grab the egg. And I guess we'll just like try again. How are we looking? Oh, there we go. That's the shot. All right. We are about to get ourselves a little Apex Crystal Wyvern, baby. Oh my gosh. You are adorable. Well, have your little imprint, buddy. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, you're going to take so long to mature, aren't you? All right. Come here so I can get a better look at you. Oh my gosh. That is the most beautiful Wyvern I think I've ever seen in my life. Look at his little black beady eyes. I mean, they, 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 they look, they doesn't, doesn't even look like he's got eyes. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is such a cool color scheme. Like, I know we've tamed up a good amount of cool colored dinosaurs. I mean, look at this guy, by the way. I haven't even pointed out the fact we have like a midnight black Sarko. Oh my gosh, what a beast, by the way. Needs a name. Suggest your names down below in the comments. And while you're at it, give us a name for my little wife and baby too. 1%, eh? 1%. Well, hmm. Yeah, I don't really have any, like, good ways of maturing you any quicker. But I guess this would be an actual good time to look into something that can help us get the most out of this wyvern. And that's a nanny. Nannies are obviously notoriously good for imprinting dinosaurs. Unfortunately, I don't even... What? I don't even have the metal to craft one of these? Surely I do. I don't. Well, I've got some metal, but not enough metal. No, actually, we do have enough metal. What am I talking about? Well, what we're missing is human hair. Well, you know what? Let's get some little scissors, hey? And let's get that human hair. Oh, my glorious locks. I'm sorry. And my glorious beard. Yeah, you too. 30 human hair. I need 20 more. <gasps> but, <gasps> no! I'm pretty sure you can use wool instead of hair. Look how short we are. I'm one short. I'm one wool short. Wait, let me actually like check that that's actually a fact. If this pops up telling me that I'm short one hair. No, 20, 20 human hair. Okay, all right. 
It means you can't substitute wool for hair for this recipe. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit, little bit better. While I was up there in the mountains, something crossed my mind. I saw a little something that caught my attention, and wow, it is so weird looking at my bald head and face. I'm, I'm just not used to it. But basically, I saw this. These little red flowers. Now, I am still pretty certain these here are meant to give you, at least in some form, rare flowers. And as you know, I would kill for some red flowers right about now. I really want a mind wipe tonic. I was curious though, if by striking these with a herbivore, would that increase our chances of actually getting them? Let's find out. Well, not from that one at least, but we'll keep trying. <gasps> Two rare flowers. I don't even know how many we need anymore, but that's that's good. I would prefer not to, I don't want to hit these Ankies, so I hope they keep their distance. None from that one. Oh, we got one from that one. So that's three. I mean, that's pretty good. Trike Typhon be absolutely thlayed it right now. Uh, two more. Okay, looking pretty good. Oh my gosh, I should have just done this from the start. Another one. Another two. Oh, I think we're going to get this. None from that. None from that. All right. Okay, we might have like used up all of our luck way too early. Also, real quick, can you harvest crystal? <gasps> Oh, you can get good amounts of it too. Nice. And I'm pretty sure I never hit a metal rock with this guy either. So how did... Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a machine. 900 metal from a rich node. Also, I see you there, buddy. Yep. Yes, I see you. Oh, it's a little weak one. Oh, you're fi oh, 9,000 health. I kind of want to kill this thing. But then I'm, I'm still kind of intrigued at how strong these things are. We... We faced one of them yesterday. It was they're kind of deadly. I'm not I'm not feeling up to that right now. Smack a couple bushes. All right, somebody is whistling. I can hear somebody whistling and it's it's not me. There's people up here with us. Can you hear that? Where are they? It's like there's some tribesmen up here in the mountain with us. I have no clue. You know what I did just spot though? I was gonna say, oh, is that a, that's a different one. No, that's the same one. No, that's a different one. Are there multiple of these spiders? Oh, he's got these little blood stalkers up here with him and everything. All right, as much as I want to kill one, I'm not willing to throw away to take today's successes just yet. Guys, I got a good feeling. We might have enough rare flowers to make this happen at last. All right, let's have a look. How was our little hole? What did we end up with? Also, looks like old Daisy here has changed colors yet again. I'm not even going to ask. But we got ourselves 12. That might not be enough, actually. But also, 1,400 metal. Yes! That's going to keep us going for a little while longer. Nice. And let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we're missing. There it is, eh? There it is. Still missing a few things. But wait a second. Is that our only option? I do just want to check something really, really quickly, though. I could have sworn these aren't as expensive as this is making them out to be. Like this guy right here, hey? What do I need for one of these? 72 stimulants and 14. That's what I thought. So the one we've been trying to craft is actually double. Oh, no. It's actually double the recipe. So I could have crafted this quite a while ago then. <laughs> All right, well, let's get everything that we need. 72 stimulants. Whatever. Better late than never, I suppose. 72 stimulants coming right up. I just got to wait for my meat to cook up. That might take a little bit of time, but that's fine. And we're finally going to be wiping this. My oh my gosh, it's hideous. But we're going to be wiping it, so it's all good. Okay, I should probably be careful leaving random fertilized eggs around the base because I got a little baby here now with me. Um, great. Well, welcome, welcome to the squad, little baby. Also, I forgot to, I forgot to work on you, buddy. I'm meant to be imprinting you, aren't I? I don't have a nanny to take care of that for me. Um, no, you can stay right here. You don't, you don't need no imprinting, mate. But, um, little wyvern, do you want to, do you want to come for a little walk? I mean, I, I know you do. I just, how, how far do you want to, how far do you need to walk is the question. Oh yeah, did I mention, or do I need to mention, the weather took a bit of a turn for the worst. There we go, 50% imprinted? What? I mean, I'll take it. You're imprinting quicker than my dodos are. Awesome. All right, these guys need to be told to stop mating. I have no use for these, these unique eggs. I don't need this many of them. Anyways, let's craft ourselves up a water jar. Because it's raining, do I actually need water to craft something in here? I might not. Crafted foods, jump in here. Can I just 
Can I just craft? But I think I still... Oh, wait. No, I need wood. I think... I don't, I don't know. Um, Wait, do I need water? Yeah, I do. I do need water. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Whee! Okay, that's actually a big fall. Ouch. My baby unique Apex Dodo died. Oh, I gotta feed my wife and two. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Um, That was a good reminder, but rest in peace to my little baby there. I forgot my dudes need foods. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hang in there, mate. I got you. I got you. Hang in there, buddy. Um, just raw meat. Just raw meat will be fine. Have all of it. I don't care. There you go, buddy. All right. You're not starving on me today, buddy. Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> they actually get prime meat. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll feed it to my wife and to make him extra stronger. <laughs> Anyways, there's the water. Light it up. Crafting foods. And it's already crafting. We're finally doing it. We're finally getting the mind wipe tonic. Oh, what a relief. Oh, this is so overdue. But guys, I want you to see. I want you to see the look on my face as I consume this baby. Bam. Smack it in there. And we can finally reallocate our stats. Oh my gosh. It's been such a long time going. First thing I'm going to do is get that weight up to 200. You know what? No. Make it 300. You know what? No. Yeah, no, we might just leave it at 300 for now. We're also going to go and get fortitude up a little bit too. I'm going to throw a bunch into health. Probably won't make a difference for a whole lot. We get a little bit of stamina as well. Um, melee damage, I guess. I don't know how much of that we need, but we'll go and get it to like 200. Movement speed, because that's kind of handy. How fast does that actually get me? Will I be able to outrun anything? Probably not, but whatever. We still got 77 levels. You know what? Another 10 are going into weight. Another 20 are going to go into health. Another five into stamina, a bunch more into fortitude, a little bit of movement speed, a little bit more melee damage. And I didn't even know where these levels were in the first place, but I'm feeling pretty good about this now. Just because I know fortitude is going to be so important, I'm going to put a little bit more in there and then the remaining two into movement speed. Ah, oh, wow. I feel like a new man. It's literally been like 10 days coming, but we've finally, we've finally done it. Oh, yes. Oh, I would be more than honored to give you a little cuddle, little one. Well, there we have it. We've got ourselves a 100% imprinted wyvern. All that's left to do is wait for it to grow up. We just got to wait for it to be fully grown. And then we can maybe take it out for a spin. I, I don't really know, but I'm ready. I am so done ready. Hmm... Yeah, okay, why not? Welcome to the fodder squad, Frank. Yeah, I think it works. Ooh, 25%. You have a long way to go, friend. Hmm, I just had an idea. Hello, sir. How do you do? Hold on. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. Brawler. Friendly. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I repeat, I'm friendly. Good brawler. Who's a good brawler? Hey, um, do you want to... Do... Yep, okay, just defecate on the beach. No worries, mate. Come back to base with me, though. For once, I'm not killing one of these tribesmen. <laughs> oh, you are far welcome, friend. But, uh... <laughs> hey, can I cut your hair? Oh, it was... Oh, come on! No! Come on! You look like you need a trim. Look how long your beard is. I just need... I just need a little bit of hair. Just a little bit off the top. I didn't even have to take it all off. Just... Just a touch. Hmm, you're no fun, buddy. You don't happen to want to feed my wife, then. Um, or at least let my wyvern consume you, do you? Well, you know what? I'm going to plant my tush right here. And um, I'm going to wait for our buddy here to grow. Yeah, I have no idea how long this is going to take. Well, I think she's about ready. Oh, so are you a he or is she? I'm hoping it get Yo, you are ready. Nice, but you're a boy. Which means we ain't going to be getting any eggs out of you. So that's disappointing but hey we've got ourselves the wyvern uh fully grown fully maxed out fully imprinted the only problem is you can't be ridden i think i accidentally completely forgot about a certain mechanic that i probably shouldn't have see watch this right if i stand right next to look at the top of the screen cannot ride until you prove your worth oh my gosh it disappears too quick for me to read it um how do i get that back <laughs> collect prime kibble from Prime Wild Kills. I completely forgot. We may have ourselves an Apex Wyvern, but we have not yet earned the right to ride it. I guess you know what we're gonna be doing tomorrow now. 